Hello guys, and welcome to my third and final LP. I'm juggling along with this. I will be, don't want to say this now, I will be taking a break from Super Mario 64 because I'm pretty sure along with me and other people, we're kind of getting burnt out on that. Not because it's boring, because I feel like I've been doing it too much. Anyways, fear not, this isn't a very big LP, and my cat's going to be a pain. Of course he is. It wouldn't be Buddy the Cat if he wasn't a buddy. Anyways, this is Pony Island, gifted to me by Detective Trixie, and kind of suggested I should do this when I when he gifted it to me, saying maybe you could do it as an LP. So I took his suggestion and said yes. I actually love this game; it's a lot of fun. It's actually different from what I've been doing. It isn't. You'll just have to wait and see. Now the nice thing is, is I've already beaten the game a few times. I know exactly what to do and. Thanks to that, I have an Axe Select button, which pretty much lacks like my save states in a way, because it lets me start from a certain act and let me continue onwards. So I can easily do the game without having to worry about screwing up a recording and then starting completely over. So anyways, this is the last time I'm going to say this disclaimer, if I didn't say it the first time. This... LP will be full of spoilers, so if you for some reason don't want the game spoiled, turn back now. This is your final warning. Anyways, for those who are still here, welcome aboard on the SS Spoilers. And let's get this started. I'm going to be doing each act as basically a video. As you can see, the game isn't all that huge. Which is fine, because the game is a lot of fun in my opinion. And it's different from what I normally do, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Thanks to tra Detective Tricks, I've kind of got outside my comfort my comfort zone of doing certain games. But he ne thought I would like it, and he was dead on right. I love this game. So let's get started. Enough babbling. And yes, the mouse will be showing. I have to use it in this game. Anyways, welcome to Pony Island. Go to options and help. Can't do nothing there. Turning this on does nothing. You'll need to do this because, oh look at that, it broke. It was such a poor program. I mean, this game already sucks. Now see this free ticket? You have to do this on your first place, so be sure to click this. This seems to do nothing from what I know. That doesn't do a damn thing. I mean, any of these others just don't do anything. I don't understand. So let's turn them all on. Advanced random number generator, anti-aliasing, because I got a badass computer. Once you've done that, we can start the game. Or not. This is our first puzzle. And this is how most puzzles will work in this game, is you have to drag these blocks, and you, there'll be plenty others, not just these, to stuff like this. And there'll be different conditions and stuff you have to fulfill to hit the key slot here. To get moving onward. So, the first one's simple, just plop this in, and voila, we can start the game. Oh no, there was a loading error. And this is, if you couldn't tell, this is actually kind of a secret tutorial to get you used to the game's puzzles. As you can see, when the key tries to go down to the load game, it's stopped by this. It's a loop block, I guess. I'm going to call them blocks, because they're blocks. It will cause the key to stop and loop back to the start. So to fix it, we rip it out, which will stop the machine from doing its thing. Put in the down arrow, and voila! We can get this game started. By the way, the loading time is slow, not because of me. You again? It's saying that because I'm doing this a second of like a fourth time. Okay, from the top. You just had to do to fix it, didn't you? And he's really slow. It was going to work. I tested it one thousand times. It's almost time to play. Welcome to Pony Island. Now this game uses is pretty much exclusive to my mouse. It's a puzzle game with action bits sprinkled out. Left mouse jumps, and that's pretty much it for now. That little bar down there, as you can see, is our progress bar. We'll let you know how far you are in the current action scene. 
I'm gonna call that because that's what they feel like their action scenes or level if you want to call it that too but regardless it'll tell you how far you are in the game well in the le current level when you touch the flagpole you win yay huge success insane incredible holy shit wow you can let that go it'll just go to 100 and just crap out anyways yeah it's our main protagonist we're a pony I guess or a guy playing as a pony I'm I would need someone like game theorists to explain this game story cuz not even I fully get it If you guys want to try to piece it together as you watch go right ahead and it's been nearly a month since this game's come out so I think it's safe enough to help you and it's only five bucks but still it's totally worth it now as you can see there's a continue but if you look over here there's an optional puzzle this will earn you a free ticket. I might as well show it off, but I won't earn it since I have all the tickets. Simply do that. Voila! You'll get a free ticket, but I already have them all, as you can see right there. 24 out of 24. Alright, to experience the rest of the Pony Island, we need to insert our soul to continue. Uh, I don't know. How about we hack you instead? As you can see, there's a new block. Pretty much does what this does except pushes the key to the right which will bring it over to this column of code so you see collect sin crash like cash broken stop paywall no soul check soul validate soul soul required but since we're a hacking genius we can just remove this remove this put the down arrow here put this here and we're good to go yeah the Puzzles will start out really easy. That looks like our game has crashed. Screw you, Windows. Oh well. Now I won't tell you how to get all the free tickets. I'll let you exploit. I'll let you figure out how to get them all yourself. But I'll kind of point out the obvious ones. Oh, why not? I'll explain all the ones I know about. If you do the, uh, to get the ticket here, if you go, double click the T I C K E. T, you'll get a ticket. Get 50 points in Pony Galaxy, you'll get a ticket. Alright, now we can't go back into Pony Island because it's dead. All we can do is hit this messenger. Hello, hello, can you see this now? Please respond, hello. If you go up, he kind of think gets mad at you thinking you're just ignoring him, but there's no need to go read that. So let's say hi. Hello, mate. Prayers have been answered. Hello. Who are you? Name's, uh, Steel. Hello, Steel, again. Uh, Steel, I am a prisoner of this machine. I do not want you to panic, but it is possible that we may share the same fate. I have a plan, but do not have the means to execute it. You must help me, Steel. Will you help me? Of course I will. What was that? Uh-oh. Oh no, it's Lucifer. Sadly, we have no choice but to say hi. So let's say butts. You must feel good about yourself. You hacked your way out of Pony Island. The repositive feedback loop for completing mundane jumping tasks wasn't engaging enough for you. Who is messaging you? It was so terrible that you had to escape. You just had to. The devil! Of course it is him. Do not speak to him. Now my plan. There are three core program files that this entire operating system depends on. Deleting a single one will lessen the power he wields, but we must delete all three to truly escape. Do you understand me? Yes, I do. Good. Who are you talking to? Sadly, we have no choice but to respond, so I'm going to insult the prick. Your mom. You are so arrogant. I have been making changes to Pony Island. We will see what you think of it this time. I asked you not to talk to him. Hey, wait! Enough of that. You are mine now. Say yes, Master. No matter what you type in, this will happen. Yes, Master. Thank you. I'll forcibly move our mouse over to Pony Island. We will see if you're too good. You're too good for my game this time. We will see. Welcome back.
What the? There's a word behind that instead of saying system tech. Oh well, I guess we'll have to find out about that later. If you click this pony head, I guess that might be later, but I don't know if I can do it, but I think there's a ticket there you're supposed to be able to get. For some reason, it won't work for me. Anyways, I know what the password is to this, but I might as well show you how to get to it. First, you start the game. Prove load times. You thought it was too easy. What do you think now? Ouch. No matter what, you're just gonna lose this, so... Your best bet is just to run into the first place you three times and die. My game is challenging, but fair. Come back when your skills improve. Or just surrender your soul. No. Now we can go to the options menu. Now, as you can see, there's something written behind there, and to, do, to access this behind spot, just click Advanced, and Obscure Options. And you'll notice the blue, the blue, uh, Advanced is blue, and it Options is blue. If we move Advanced up to here, let me move that out of the way, and move Options right there, we can now access the Advanced Options. Now, if we go to Advanced Audio, and you max all these out, This can't be touched, by the way, which is that hum you hear. The heart will explode and it'll get you a free ticket. Anyways, if we go to security settings, you minimize all these, you'll notice three new options have appeared. We go to password info. That's the password to that weird thing we just saw earlier with the hashtags. Well, you can go to all these if you want and check stuff. I don't know why. No, these don't do anything from what I know. Anyways, once you're done with all that and you're done screwing around, head here and type in the password. He will give us a vision into our past. Now you're allowed to ask one of three questions. Only one of these, so choose wisely. Alright, who was I, when did I die, and uh, who killed me? Let's start with, uh, who killed me? His name was Ab Abul al Kindi. I don't know. He fought for his city. And that's it. You're just typing back, and you're done for now. Now if we go back to options and go to advanced gameplay, you'll notice code and old prototype options. Click it. I want out! Ah, sorry, none of these work, sadly. I wish I, they did. Anyways, click really useless options, then there are better options, and you'll notice pony salvation options. Look at that, pony lasers. I want that! Hey! I won't let you cheat at my game. Cheat? Now, no matter what you do, you ain't catching this, so your best bet is to use you notice you can see the mouse is kind of pointing towards something. Follow it, and... The lot of that heavenly music is, the closer you are to it. And you'll be introduced to another puzzle. This one's fairly easy, and we'll teach you about how you can abuse pausing the machine. So we place that there, and these back here. Take this out, and look, the machine will pause, and then you can move this down here, and you just do this until you reach the bottom. Alright, we're almost done, and done. You'll notice it's bigger, but it doesn't look like it's quite big enough for us to hit, so, you follow the mouse. You'll notice we have three blocks in that little broken piece of code. Move this, move this. We want to put this here, this here, and this here. I right, wait till that pass was there first. Sometimes I get ahead of myself, and that's it. It's bigger, but still not quite big enough for us to hit, because it'll just keep moving it out of the way. So you'll notice there's another piece of coding right here. Yeah, I can see it. And this one looks kind of big. Now the puzzles are getting a little harder, aren't they? But this one isn't actually all that hard. Just watch my playthrough, you'll get through this game very easy. Yeah, watch out for those looping blocks, they'll want to ruin your day. 
So you can see it looks intimidating, but this one isn't hard either. Bam! It's now full screen. And now he can't move it away from us, so click pony lasers. It'll tell us how to use it, and if you can see right here, this pony's moving, so hit right click and ah, wreck everything. Go back and turn that op turn that off. You can't play with that. You know what? Screw you. And with that, BAM! As soon as you start killing them, the music kicks in. And we now have pony lasers, if you right click. As you can see on our body, there's a meter there. If that runs empty, you cannot use your pony lasers for a short time, as the meter will need to recharge. To shoot your laser, as it said, right click. To aim it, use your mouse. It'll shoot wherever the direction of your mouse is. Wherever your mouse is located, that's from the direction your pony self will shoot in. I don't know why it says respawn, it's broken. It's never happened before, but alright. With that, we beat that part of the level. Hit continue as we saw, and we'll be taken to the part two. Now don't worry, in this game you do have infinite lives. The lives are just for this one part. Now you're wondering what kind of game does this have for bosses? Well, this game does have bosses, as you can see by the action sequences, but not all of them are purely based on kicking their butts. You'll just have to wait and see what I mean. Alright, watch out for those gates. It kind of, it's, the gate levels aren't that big, but getting netting, killing yourself nets you a restart at the start of the st current stage you're at. You cheated. He's not happy and he just cut our head off. And with that the machine is now tilted, which kind of makes this annoying. I made it in. It seems he is distracted. This is our chance. And with that a portal will open. If you click it, We'll be taken to our first boss battle. Well, actually, no, we'll be taken to the, the delete. This looks like a daemon over there. It's kind of defense that he set up to guard the file. Shouldn't be a problem since it's locked up. Strange. Anyways, let's delete it. Oh no. Yeah, like he said, uh oh. It's time for our first boss battle, and this boss battle is a battle of wits. Greetings, mortal. I was created to guard this core file. Did you believe this would be easy? Anyways, to get this started, we have to click on double click each of these locks and enter the portal and do their puzzle. Now, what makes this a boss battle is if we move a piece, he'll try to ruin it for us. But, if you've played this as much as I have, you can actually use this to your advantage. So, let's, uh, take this, move this, yeah, see, look at that, we can use this to actually have him help us. And voila, he solved the puzzle for us. Thank you, kind sir. Child's play. You'll not break another. Yeah, I don't love how slow they talk. Anyways, it doesn't matter which order you do these in, you get the same puzzles in the same order. And I, don't, I can't do anything about the tilted screen. I'm pretty sure that might bug a few. But anyways, what I want to do is... Mm, let's see. Uh, move this. Let's move this here. Thank you. No, let's move this right here. And poopy, I messed that up. What I want to do is actually, let's see, move this. I want to move that there, he'll move that there, then we want to move this here. Nope. Thank you. And done. You have luck on your side. But 
I am the greater mind. Yeah, pff, kiss my ass, you're the greater mind. And as these videos might be long, because I'm doing them an act apiece. Anyways, as you can see, it's getting harder now. And trust me, they will get harder. Anyways, we have a block here. But this one isn't actually that hard if you take a minute to look at your pieces. It kind of works like Tetris. They kind of just come, and you have to use what you get. So anyways, this is easy. As you can see, there's two ways to actually hit this lock. The way I know of doing it is to simply take this and put this here. He'll put it down arrow there, so we want to move it right here. And now we basically use him to complete the puzzle. Alright, no, we don't want that there. We want this here. We want that here. Move this over here. Thank you, kind sir. Let's move this arrow right here. Thank you, he's really helping us this time. Move this here. Move this here. Uh, let's see. Doesn't matter, we've already won the puzzle. And with that, we win. What are you doing? I will not fail my master. Yeah, you will, because I've done this too much. Alright, as you can see, this is a one-time thing that I don't think ever appears again in a puzzle like this. You see these blocks right here? Well, those are basically lock blocks. Once a piece goes in it, you can't take it out. So be very mindful of where you put shit. Now, this one will really ruin you, because what you want to do is try to fill these out as fast as you can with the pieces handed to you. So, move this here. He'll move that there, don't worry. Then you want to move this one right up here. Now, if you don't move this piece to the right spot, he will ruin everything for you. So move this right here. Then move this right here, and now you're good to go. Just want to simply move all these ruined bad pieces to the wrong spots. Alright, doing good so far. Alright, let's move this here quickly, because if you don't, he'll move that right there, and you'll fail the puzzle. And as you can see, that wasn't that hard. Done. Fool. Your profit is false. Now, the fun thing is, if you double-click this, he'll try to stop you. Isn't that cute? He's not that hard to stop, so double-click, click. You have been deceived! And that's the end of Act 1. So what exactly awaits us in Act 2? Well, I guess you guys will have to find out in the next episode. So stay tuned for more Let's Play Pony Island.